got this week from Odyssey Studios. We're getting an early look at Omega Strikers. This is kind of a arena soccer football style game. And this one was pretty cool, man. We, uh, we get to jump in. We get this kind of anime art style as soon as you get in. This is an online 3v3 free-to-play game that's going to be available on PC, console, and even mobile platform. This is uh, actually, I think gonna be a pretty solid game man i think as long as it's got the fan base there which uh through their discord i'm seeing they've already got a million pre-registers for the game so things are looking pretty good here and honestly our experience with the game so far has been pretty good what did you think so far of omega strikers well getting in i thought there was a little bit of a callback to games kind of of old i was thinking wind jammers just slightly but that's just based on how it looks being top down and kind of just exploring the kind of team-based game. It reminds me again of other Knockout City comes to mind, these yeah. other kind of three-player team v. team games, and this one is no different other than it seems like it has a little bit more going for it than those other two titles, which is going to be good because <laughs> it will need to sustain itself being a free-to-play game. <clears throat> we got in and we noticed and right off the bat, okay, there's a few different types of currency here. There's a battle pass. There's challenges to go about to get these currencies. So it's not necessarily all pay, but it has to be understood. This is a free to play game. That's going to make a lot of sense. And on the mobile platform, you know, that's going to do very well. Oh, yeah. I, I really suspect this game is going to take off really strongly. And I, I hope that it's going to have the support on the back end to kind of keep it going. There's going to be cosmetics, of course, but I want a little bit more. I have I have some ideas, but I'll get to that later. <laughs> well, like you said, there's there's a lot to kind of purchase in this game if you want to. You do gain the in-game currency fairly quickly, so you can buy the different striker characters. They've got actually a fairly good roster right off the bat, and the nice thing about games like this is usually you'll see those rosters expand as time goes on. So it was really cool to kind of jump in right away and see how much they're going to offer to you just immediately. Like you said, there's a fairly large ecosystem of currency set up here the store is really well laid out all the challenges there's many of them they're laid out very well the tutorial was short and sweet but it gave you all the info you needed to play this game you know to to its full extent and then it just comes down to practice makes perfect with a game like this yeah you can see there's a lot of depth to the actual gameplay you can take up and learn when you get good the ceiling is much higher we discovered there's a couple teams that uh, they really knew what they were doing. They could actually <laughs> yeah. put the goal on net and you'd have to actually compete with them and it got really intense. But that's the excitement factor that I think this game is going to benefit from. You're going to get in and come hot off a of victory, load right into another game. And I think there's a lot of longevity here when you look at the different characters because you mentioned there's an anime style to it. They are a little bit stereotypically anime, in my opinion, but all of these characters have a little bit of a lore, a little bit of a personality to them, and there's a lot of different skins, but also abilities to level up, which goes hand in hand again with that skill ceiling. So as you're playing with characters, you kind of specialize in Kai or Nubu or whichever character you like, and then you get better over time. And I like that because that's going to keep a lot of the players around over time. You're going to get this Grandmaster class, and I'm wondering how a competitive scene really will do. Yeah, this game is primed to have a fairly big competitive scene if done properly. Like, as long as the game's balancing's there, which so far through our gameplay, it does seem fairly balanced. The characters all have their own special abilities, but they all kind of play off each other really well. It's all about team chemistry, how you compose your team, so you make sure you got the right characters or strikers playing goalie, the right strikers kind of in that midfield range, and then you've got your forward who's that kind of quick striker that has those abilities that'll allow you to kind of break through and shoot the disc in. There's a lot of really cool things here in this game. It's laid out well. I really like the look. The gameplay is really quick. It's fast paced. There isn't any online chat function here other than some emotes and quick chat functions. So that actually keeps the games kind of a little bit quicker in a sense because you're not sitting there squabbling with the other team as much. It's more kind of Rocket League-esque in that sense, which I really like. So we're kind of in and out of games fairly quickly. Through this early period, we weren't able to queue in as fast as we probably wanted to, but the games we did play, we had a ton of fun playing. So honestly, Scott, if we had to give this one a recommend or not recommend, what are you going to give Omega Strikers? I mean, no spoilers here. This review kind of, we gushed on them a little <laughs> bit here, but what's your thoughts, man? 
I see a huge amount of potential in this game, and for that reason alone, I'm going to recommend this. If it looks a little silly, but you could have a good time, I think you're going to get in there and you're going to discover there is a good time to have. And there's really only a slight complaint I have, a slight idea, rather, for other game modes. If I had an AI match that I could run just to learn my character, even, or if I could run a 1v1, that would be interesting. But again, not necessary. I recommend. Yeah, you know what, I'm right there with you, man. Honestly, this game, like I said, kind of gives you everything you need to get going here. The fact that it's free to play is an argument in itself right there that why not try playing this game? It's honestly, I think, something that everyone can have a fun time in. There is going to be a skill gap at some point, but the fact that you can kind of level up certain strikers and just kind of get really good at one person is going to allow you to kind of climb those ranks if that's what you want to do. The competitive scene can be there. That, I think, is what's really going to drive this one forward. So for me, man, I'm also a recommend as well. Good game!